Start the season with a free case of new and exclusive beers from Chile. Our good friends at Beer52 have teamed up with the best breweries in Chile to bring you eight beers you won't find anywhere else. All you have to do is go to beer52.com forward slash paddock and cover the £5.95 postage to claim your free case now. We've been Beer52 members for well over a year now and we know that they bring you the best beer tasting experience from beers and breweries all across the world. For example, this double session IPA. Now this is exactly what you want from an IPA. Look at that. First of all, it is golden. It has got a delicious thick white head. It is an absolute delight. And it's a double IPA that is bursting with citrus and pine flavors. Basically, all you need to know is it is a delicious beer. Great, actually. We've also got Almeida Beer Co's delicious Stavapiola, which is, let's be honest, it's an ode to the classic Pilsner starter Pramen, and it's everything you want in a lager. What do you want in a lager? Great question. You want delicious malt sweetness. You want balanced bitterness. Expect a robust head and fresh bread aromas. Everyone likes the smell of fresh bread. That's literally everyone on earth. It's literally the best thing since fresh bread. And also, if you don't like dark beers, you can just pick the light case. You also get a couple of delicious snacks as well in the box. Oh, delicious. You can also learn about Chile's thriving beer scene in the award-winning Ferment magazine that comes right in the box as well. And even after all of that, you are still unsatisfied. You can simply pause or cancel at any time. The freedom is yours. So go to beer52.com forward slash paddock. That is beer52.com forward slash paddock to claim your free case now. Alex Bagley's back. Hey, Hi, back for a day. Hang on. I just uh, why are you here? Uh, Where's Jay's, the bald lad? Oh yeah, Jay's gone. Jay's just walked into the woods in Wales and no one's seen him for a week, and no one can get hold of him. He might not come back. I had money on that. <sighs> well, at some point he was gonna just blow it all up, wasn't <laughs> it? Like we all knew this day was. Well, there was coming. two. There was two. There was the disappearance of the woods with his yeah. parka zipped up, mm. and the other one was Bang Eric Clapton on. Mm. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, and just 2012. Yeah. Open up a, a very sellotaped parcel with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> and then test a substance with the same knife. I always think that's the coolest looking thing ever when they use that giant blade to just get a little sample. I hope, it. like, people Not who really. sell granu films. granulated sugar yeah. uh, do their deals like that. Yeah, you've yeah. got to, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, why is, is this in a lab? Yeah. No, I want it in a warehouse. I yeah. want you to be wearing a vest. Yeah. Like, I want it to be sweaty. Yeah. And I want you to test it with a knife. If I was why? like Because shut up, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a 78-year-old grandma, if I was Mary Berry, I'd be doing that with a powdered sugar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Did you see um, Russell Brand? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, he's, uh, he's doing a lot of weighing and this, that, and the other of a lot of... Um, Baking materials. Yeah. Right. He, goes, he lifts up this spoon. He goes, <laughs> took a gram off the top of that just by habit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait till he comes. And back they aired it. Yeah. <laughs> what was it on? It was on um, whatever it's called. That fucking show with a baking the bake on. one. Yeah. Yeah. Really? What's the, it called? The baking one. I don't know. What British Bake Off. That's, that's the one. How have you not seen that? I've seen it. I, I can't, can't imagine seeing it. it. He's fucking that. in it. Yeah. Be all about three episodes or three series. I bet you you know your way around a gazebo, don't you? <laughs> I, we can say that with some confidence. You've been to a lot of awards, do's, sort of golf of the year I things. Like ones with where very, very white trousers. Yeah, white trousers and even and whiter skin. Top. You know what? Yeah. I don't think and they just, You've never been in a gazebo? I've been in a gazebo. Right. We might just win in a gazebo. Right, well, what are you <laughs> on the back then? Why are you, <laughs> why are you the making me look On the back of the cricket club. Right. There you go, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, Jay's going to come back with the sides growing back out like he's always promised to do. <laughs> and the ponytail. Yeah, like Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah, a little ponytail at the back like Jesse Ventura. Just coming I back really fucking so. in six months. Could always wear sunglasses for some reason now, yeah. Always yeah. got sunglasses on. Ponytail out Calls the back. everyone brother. Calls everyone brother. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. What are you doing this weekend, Steve? We're going to talk about the glazers and stuff in a little bit because it is just getting ridiculous now. Dad's having a barbecue. I think, fuck it. How many people are watching? You're all invited. I'll, send <laughs> it. I'll put the address on Twitter later. Yeah, yeah, do it. Um, I'll just yeah. have to get a couple more sausages in. Yeah. Um, Fine. Got a game tomorrow in Lim. Yeah. Got about fucking 11 players. Yeah. Lim yeah. Limbless. Mm. More like. Yeah, Not go. bad. Me and, me and Joe are playing, aren't we? No. No. Mm. I mean, I'm doing my own exercise tomorrow. It's... it's 
but it's not desperate. Right. Well, don't. No, there's, no, there's no need for that, is there? Okay. Sorry. All right. But I stand yeah. by what I said. Doing the Otley Run tomorrow. You doing the Otley Run? Which is technically. Oh a job. my God! Yep. I haven't done that since I was nay I to a what old was I, about twenty twenty. I've never done it. Wow. I've not done it either. I is wouldn't it, do it. How old are you, Joe? Thirty. No. Just turned. Absolutely not. What do you mean no? I mean no. You just mean, do it, don't you? I'm having mean, half in each pub. <laughs> that's not the rules, Joe. Why is it? That's not the rules. The you're rule- supposed to. You're not. You're supposed to throw up. Right. I'll a third of the way into it. That's meant to be the game. You're not going to do it properly. Are you dressing up? Um, oh yeah, I'm dressing up as a sort of... As a Joe Smith. Yeah. I think I went as 118. What, well, half of 118? Uh, yeah, on my own. Like, <laughs> really? What, 59? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, so sad, isn't it? that's great maths. It's it's pretty really quick. Quick. Is it right? Yeah, it's quite, yes. it's quite quick. <laughs> um, oh, look at this. Let me I'm see trying to think what year 59. it was. I think, I want to say 2004. It might have been 2005. That's prime 118. Prime 118 yeah, that's, yeah. that's what makes me think it was 118. For those who don't know what 118 is, it's sort of a telephone It was Google, Google. kind of. Yeah. It was, yeah. We used to ring Google. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, aya, kebab. Yeah. There it is. Six. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. I'm not. not. Yeah. Anyway. Rolls yeah. not Middleton. Um, the Otley Run, for those who don't know, is mm. um, there's a place near it's north of Leeds, I think. Might have been towards Arrogate, maybe. Yeah. My, or may, is it more Bradford? It's, it's near Leeds-ish. Near Leeds. Near Leeds-ish, right? And there is probably one high street from memory with a ridiculous number of pubs on it. It's 15 or sort of 16, depending on which way you're under it, but in, let's say in, roughly 15 pubs. Yeah, in not a lot of room either. Yeah. And there's some next door to each other. Like, it's pub, pub. Not pub, house, chippy, pub. Like, pub, pub. Yeah. Um, and you, you go in, you have a, a pint in everyone, or a half like Joe. A shandy in everyone, like me. Um... <laughs> You're going to have some proper And you get tomorrow, absolutely right? sozzled. And yeah. the, the game is to do it in fancy dress. Don't know why. No, but that I, is the thing, isn't it? It is the thing. Why it's called a run, I don't know, because no one runs. No, you get the runs, though. From not, doing always, it. not always, huh. not always. Um, yeah, it's always. It's a good old time to be able. So what time's the festivities? Be- what time's we, kick-off? We begin at uh, 11. Um, well, Gen- we were having leads gentleman. at 11. Good gentleman. Yeah, well, so we'll probably get to start boozing like at 12. 12 reckon, yeah. Well, it says here... It says from 12 till 3 every Saturday, the first watering hole is jam packed. <laughs> so, do what, I don't know if you're allowed to do it in reverse order, but how shit is that? It's definitely mm. organised by the first pub because yeah. that's a. Little yeah, bit of start. not every the last pub. No, because the last pub's well. just like. There's a one bloke in the corner with a piano. Imagine. Quiet o- night again tonight. Yeah. Imagine owning like the 12th pub. And everyone that gets to you is absolutely just, they must be they just so walk much in, vomit. Throw up yeah. and leave. Vomit oh, I'll clean everywhere. that up. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You're literally twelve <laughs> pubs in to a a, a beer room. Pub number one's the best people are doing yeah. shots. Yeah. They're just fucking buying drinks, they're not even drinks. Do no one's gonna stuff. wee on your carpet, no, no one's throwing up. Like the first pub is the greatest one. Yeah. That's but yeah, it. you're you're in you get into the like the teens. It ain't your cup of tea, mate. Everyone And everyone is doing the same thing. So they are all 13 pints in. It's going to be mental, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I'm exactly not do it the re- you must be able to do it the reverse, surely. Maybe uh, in rules like are training. Rules. rules are rules. Do you think? Uh, it's Yorkshire, so the rules are definitely Yeah, and rules. also you don't want to start in Leeds and end in Otley, do you? You want to, start, you want to end <laughs> near the train station <laughs> yeah, yeah. slash hotel. Yeah. Ben's family's from Otley. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Is it, it's just that all the time, isn't it? I think so. You can't yeah. leave the house without it's being covered in stag do's. Yeah. Yeah. It's stag do's, yeah. it's sports teams. It is teams. My, uh, si- my brother-in-law's stag do's right, and my, my sister. It's sports teams. I did it with, um, was it the football team? It was one of my regimental teams. So you're my big old army boys. Oh, just going absolutely yeah, fucking turbo. Be dressed up. Like, that was great as well. Absolute that. dicks. <laughs> it was cocks out the lot. Yeah, yeah of course. Oh, yeah. Imagine, that's the thing. Pub 15, you've got to have a very, very particular hiring policy, haven't you? Yeah. It's not for the faint well, heart. Who are we hiring? Now. Stone Cold Steve Austin yeah. and his eight twins. <laughs> Former bouncers. <laughs> WWE yeah, yeah. wrestlers. And then bouncers. Yeah. <laughs> and then, have you ever done it? No. If you're not, you must no. have done some pub crawls. You don't, are you on the Ale Trail? I'm not on the Ale Trail. Ale Trail's an alright one. Train. Yeah, you yeah, get I'm on and off, off the train. train. My That's mates have done it through from on the Met from Altering all the way to town. You can do that. Is that what? How many is there? There's, there's a lot there. Alty, Timperley, Sale, they're all, and there's always a pub. Right what a good name for it, Joe. Metro Clink. Mm, that's not bad. That's not really bad. good. But that's worth doing, though, because there's some good little stops all the way along there, but then you get to. 
Cornbrook. Cornbrook would be a difficult one. What are you going to do at Cornbrook? Just have a can. Off license. No, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to hide a few tins of Strongbow. <laughs> you've got to be ready for Cornbrook. Like, underneath the stairwell we'll at Cornbrook. St. Peter's Square is not a great one either. No, no but at least there is. up on the you're corner. Costa Square. Coffee. Yeah. You go no, to the Zimbabwe There's Korean. a cafe near on the corner. There's a around the corner from there, but it's not, it's literally. Oh, no, there's a Wetherspoons. Yeah, there's not one far away from there. Yeah. Isn't there? You could do that. Ale trail's good. Yeah. Although the problem. Should we do a Channel Ale trail? That would be Jay's great. not getting invited. The problem with that, though, is. <laughs> Is if you get it wrong, you end up in London. <laughs> don't you know? don't, because that train, I think, goes from Tuddersfield. I think right. that might be the end. Right. I think because it does like Marsden and fucking Saddleworth and like you can't get too far lost there. No, no. It got, I think it goes Huddersfield. I think it starts at Huddersfield mm. and it finishes at Stelly Bridge. Mm. And it's like it's it's one stop constant, and it's in mad places, and all that exists is people doing the Ale Trail. Yeah. It's what? like a more civilised version of the Otley Run. What were, was there much of a pub crawl culture in America when you were there? They did I can't the, imagine They did it. a few organised... They did some where you literally got a card and you got you paid for it. It was like thirty twenty five dollars yeah. no. And then you got a card and you got to... Oh, a card? A card. Yeah. And you went in and went, right, here's a different... And they gave you different drinks at each one. Interesting. And mm. that nearly... A lot more whooping like though, went, isn't there? A lot more bee. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of that. And then there's one, like, someone would throw you a tequila shot. One of them would be like a tequila shot. I went, no, I don't want that one, thanks. It's in the middle. <laughs> I ate in. I'm all right. Just, get, I just have a beer. It's Way fine. more whooping than chicken wings. Yeah. yeah. A lot more of that. Um, should we talk about the, no, the press conference this Friday? Today? Short well, Joe. No, but <laughs> you're, you're doing like what this. we do. No, but this is brew type stuff. All right, I'm going to give you five seconds before I interrupt. Ten Arg says he wants Johnny Evans to stay. Right, yeah, well, I. Th- <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, I thought everyone already knew. I didn't know. Did you know who stayed? I, didn't know yeah, I, I stay thought we'd give him a one year deal. <laughs> really? And I thought everyone knew. <laughs> I think it's a bit mad. Steve though. ruined things for everyone, didn't he? I thought we all knew. How did you know? You know how I know. Was <laughs> I there? I don't know. I thought we all knew. I, I thought it that. was. I, I said it about a month ago yeah. in America, and everyone was like, what? And I was like, what? What? What do you mean? <laughs> what was supposed to know? See, I didn't realise that he, it was sort of, Ten Hag wanted it. I thought he wanted it, and it was sort of like, oh, we'll see what the boss thinks, but Ten Hag says it, he wants it. It makes sense for Johnny Evans, because what would you yeah, rather do? Yeah, of course do? it does. Spend, do, play ten games this year uh, if you know. Do you know what's bad, though? Yeah, he was fucking shite. He was. <laughs> Yeah. Ten games this year playing for United, or go and play at Everton where you have to play every week and you'll probably get relegated again. Like, that's not <laughs> <laughs> two years in the spin. Yeah, you can't keep You don't want relegated. to do that, do you? Just say United and go, worst comes worst, we finish eighth. And yeah. I'd yeah, leave he, next he didn't year. Have a, he didn't have a good old time in Dublin. And who was the other game he played? Dortmund. Wrexham. Oh, Wrexham was bad. Wrexham was really yeah, bad. Yeah, but it was. I think he played... Dortmund he came on at Dortmund and I think that was more worrying because he, <laughs> get, he was alongside all the good players then when he came on for that one and you went that's when you've got Martinez and wan and Shaw alongside you with Anana it's not as bad as when it was the kids alongside you at Wrexham you can get mm. why he got caught out and again but quite dumb and looked off the pace but so why are we signing him then? Carabao Cup funny. for United <laughs> funny have <laughs> you ever heard of a word called funny um, there may be such a thing as homegrown status uh, does he count as United youth player then? Yeah. is he wow. oh, yeah, the new Lee Grant essentially well just doesn't play so he's, go- so he's that. filling that kind of Fair like enough. sort of no not homegrown but like Phil Jones Eric by role of sort of you're centre back but not really but you don't play yeah where's Phil Jones gone home is he on the Otley Trail he might be on the he, might be on the, run he might be on the Otley Run well he'd be on the Otley Limp but he'd be on the Otley Walk yeah, yeah but that's fine I'd, lo- I'd love to if I saw Phil Jones on the Otley Run tomorrow honestly I would love it after calling it I'd now be so nice. and seeing it tomorrow imagine the absolute scenes it would be imagine beautiful if, if you saw him in pub it'd be all right as well, well. Yeah. You'd be just like, because you wouldn't know he's only on halves oh, yeah right. that's true you'd just be like oh hang on Phil Jones oh I need a wee <laughs> <laughs> so just stay, stay there just stay, just stay, stay there I'm going to piss myself but just stay there <laughs> stay there get me a and he'd come back and be like oh, I need another wee oh, shit. <laughs> I brought a seal <laughs> get me a get me a I don't know, some sort of fizzy water or something. I really want to chat. Phil Jones, Stone Cold so because he does seven pints. I yeah. have no issues whatsoever. Pub 15 is his local. Yeah. And he's just, <laughs> he's on his first pint. That's the one. You get to Pub 15 and you have to fight Phil Jones. Yeah. <laughs> he's just sat To go home. Oh, you know how to go home. you got to start again. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Otley, oh, sort okay. it. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple of super chats. Uh, Chris Quigley says, any update on the Paddock show in Dublin? The update is no. we are going to be doing a Paddock show in Dublin. The exact date is still to be de- decided due to a number of factors, but don't worry, we'll be doing one. Um, Fitz says, our reputation and culture is dying under the glazers. Are you surprised it's taken this long? Like, did, you, did you think, let's say six months ago, we'd still be sat here you know, nudging towards September, there's Christmas decorations in the shops and we are still owned by the Glazers. No. Yeah. I thought when it got put up for sale, and even though their statement was quite broad and kind of covering every eventuality, I thought that was a little bit of game playing because you have to sort of do that as a stock market listed yeah. club. I thought them going, oh, we'll look at anything from investment to a full sale. I thought that was them going, yeah, we're up for sale. Mm. And the fact that people offered six billion with a B yeah I thought that's it it's done yeah it, it's all for especially when the Qatari bids were happening you kind of went they're not going to lose this mm. they're just going to keep going with it and obviously they've just not even given them enough to go no, well if you just give us this the that's phone. the thing they've not given them enough to go just give us a so bit why is that more thing in the corner it? making a noise yeah. it's called a telephone answer it yeah I, pick the thing up and say hello it's it's amazing that they have because they've not really briefed that there's other funding coming in. Because it can't if if it had been the rumours of, oh, these have put up a billion for a new stadium, you know, some random sponsors coming in on there's that. You'd kind of go, okay, well, I can see why they're just going to stay now. Because that makes sense. But there's not even been there. Do my worries. Go on. My worry is stuff like um, Saudi wildcard into the Champions League. I think... Yeah. If we look, um, we're serious, the catalyst for them deciding they were going to chip wasn't the protest, sadly. It was probably the collapse of the Super League. Yeah, it which was. Which was their shit idea, for starters. So when their shit idea got the response it got, that was when they looked like they mm. put the wheels in motion to sell us. Now, why would they change their mind? Because they can get that Super League money again. Yeah, in another form, perhaps. Yeah. And I think once you start talking about things like Saudi potentially coming into uh, the Champions League, which is bananas, when you see some of the moves being made in MLS and some of the money being talked about with like Apple and Messi and, and stuff like that, I think you know, th- you've got to assume the owners of the big four or five football clubs in England are having conversations about the next five and ten years, mm. I would hope monthly, and, and the direction that stuff's going. I think by the time you hear about like Messi's Apple deal and, and the Saudi deciding that they're going to go in the Super League, th- well, we had that conversation nine months ago. I think there's probably stuff that they're having conversations about where they go, Super League cash is still there. It's just called the uh, blah, 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 blah. And yeah. I, I see a, like the leagues thing in MLS, the Saudi coming into the Champions League, the expansion of the World Club Cup. Mm. Um, it's, I mean, everything that's going on in Saudi for starters, yeah. it feels like there's... There's no obvious like thing that's happened now that makes you go, oh, so it's the Adidas money. No, nah, not really, because we could have got that. that. That's just pretty normal. Yeah, the, I think they, they know something else. And mm-hmm. also the, the UEFA stuff. UEFA have kind of given them the green light, haven't they? Of you know, we're doing what we can to co-efficient your way in of you know with past results and stuff. So yeah. the Champions League money itself is likely going to be guaranteed still. They're gonna. They've made a way of doing. It. They made it five teams this year from the Premier League already. So straight away you go well. All right, we've not got to be better than them, but we can finish fifth now. That's a better chance. Is that, to, that's to do that. Anyway, next season, isn't it? Season. I was, no, it's next season. Is it? Next season. Yeah, it's next season. How's FFP work with Saudi? It doesn't, because they're not under UA for Banner. Uh, they're trying to be, Joe. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So I think the thing we're going to see here, if my four series of succession tell me anything, <laughs> I know a little bit about business, oh, right? Fair, right okay. uh, sounds like a solid ground. But yep. genuinely, what Saudi want is eyes on Saudi. And the way, the best way they're going to get that is either a Super League or being in the Champions League. Or hosting the Champions League. Or hosting the Champions League. Or, you that's, know, on the, that's so on the cards, by the way. Yeah, they hosted the... Copa del Rey didn't all this year. So they hosted the semis and the finals. Yeah. So they had the Spanish teams go and over, which is huge. I said this the other day. You have an F1. Yeah. Great, you got a weekend of a reet load of people coming. Yeah. You have a heavyweight title fight. You have Same a reet load of week. But if you've got the Harlem Globetrotters FC playing every single week, you've got a steady stream of people coming and visiting Saudi. Yeah. And if, if they get into the Champions League or... <laughs> 
how's this conversation forced real? forced the well I predicted that they'd try and get in the Champions League about two months ago yeah but it's mental Joe yeah but, but then or they'll, or they'll try to reignite the Super League and they'll put pressure on uh, the Premier League they put pressure on the Liga and all these uh, different individual leagues who said they'd kick all these teams out so then what they'll probably do is they'll go right we'll, well buy gonna, all your teams we'll, we'll either buy all your teams or what we'll do is we'll make a deal with you where you let us in the Champions League we soften on this we get they will get United Real Madrid Juventus Barcelona all these lot in bed with them somehow, whether it's through money, whether it be through opportunities, whatever, Neil and they will make not United and the rest of Europe put pressure on UEFA to change the Champions League to let them in. You look That's what, that is what's going to happen. Absolutely you look at what happened yeah. with golf, though. Golf did it, yeah, where yeah. they did sell this other league, took us a few big names and all that, created a bit of a stir. So with did it they all. take? Because I don't have a fucking clue. So what they did was they, they offered. Take people away from they PGA. offered twenty. They offered 54 players ridiculous money to come over to go and do this league that is essentially going all over the world. So was it a rival to the PGA? Rival Tour? to the PGA, and you have to be in this. You can't do this. You can still play in the majors, but you can't play in the PGA Tour. PGA Tour also spat the dummies out and went, if you go to that, you can't play in any of our events. The world ranking said, if you do that, they're not world ranking events and all this kind of stuff. So they lose the gen, you know, they lose the, they lose the prestige. <clears throat> the prestige, really. But that's it. But then what's happened? Million a year. But what's happened eight months down Sound. the line of that is that the PIF have now been speaking to the PGA Tour in the back and have said, "We'll combine the PIF will combine with the PGA Tour, and at some point the PGA Tour will own it all, but it will be the PIF's money that backs everything." So essentially, they've got to a point where they go, "Well, we'll just own everything then." Yeah, we'll own it all, and we'll let you sort of Run act it. as as the runners of the operation, but so, it's ours. Wow. And it's, they'll probably do the same with football if they want to. Yeah, because if, if you wait for put up, kick up a force, they'll find a way around it. They go right, fuck your leagues off. Who cares about the Premier League when each team is making two billion quid a year in the Super League? It's not just a hundred million or two hundred million anymore. It's a couple of billion a year now. We're doing it, and then the and then UEFA will inevitably come back and go, no one's watching our stuff anymore because it's Shakhtar versus Schalke. Fucking <laughs> Yeah, we need you back. All right, well we're going to sweep in and, and do this. We've seen them do the exact same thing. Bastards with golf. If but, they want to, they will. Yeah. I blame Murdoch. And also, there's, there's enough money. There's enough money where, and this summer has shown it's going to work. The oh, yeah. amount of there, there, this isn't a, a flash in the pan. This is it to stay. And it, yeah. it's th when you start extrapolating, like, what the fuck's going to happen here now? Yeah. It could be anything. Yeah. It can go anywhere. What well, if they, if they want to join the Champions League, they will. I think that's the path of least resistance for them and for UEFA. Because if UEFA say no, then there's a whole other avenue of absolute hell where you UEFA might have to cede all control of European football to Saudi if they if they're not <laughs> careful. All right, okay, we'll buy the six uh, biggest teams in Europe and make the Super League. Shit. And this fuck all you can do then because we own them all. Like who you know that is an option for them if they want to because the money isn't just like oh we've got twenty billion. It's like we have got endless money. It is in the hundreds of billions, maybe even trillions if we're honest. Like <laughs> we've just got all the world's money, so we're gonna do what we want. Bizarre, isn't it? It's gonna be fun, isn't it? It is. Um, are you excited for the game tomorrow? I'm shitting it after Monday. Yeah. Monday was awful. If it still spurs. It was, yeah. It was, but also Lads. weird. It's Tottenham. Uh, we've won three is... of the last five times. We've, we've played Spurs <laughs> <the> away. <laughs> Not bad, that you know. I don't know. I think it was that bad on Monday. You have to figure it out. Joe, repeat after me. You're gonna be three and a half pints deep anyway. I'm gonna run, be so you're not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think be fine tomorrow. I I, I would like uh, videos off you tomorrow. Yeah, the, I'll do. Uh, I'm going to do a video. Do you know that thing of this is me after? One I'm going to do after every pint. Me after one pint. Me after ten pints. Me after fifteen pints. <laughs> yeah. And I have your permission to share some of these, not all of these. Uh, yeah. If I'm, as long as I've got clothes on on all of them, <laughs> okay. you can share them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I can't do fifteen pints. I can't. That's mad. That's I'm not like that. You have to be. That's your only job, drinking, in it? You have to be full-time. Yeah. I've never done anything like 15 pints. Before. No, I think I've done 10. I've definitely done 10 before, but I don't drink that often anymore. I, I, it's more the 10. rum. It's the rum. The, the rum, they do bottles. Yeah. That's problematic. Yeah. Problematico. Yeah. It's only for the rums, nice. isn't it? <laughs> it's the new brand. There you go. I've got the name of my rum, Problematico. <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking for the Write name that of your down. Room. You've been looking for the name of your room for about two years. You finally got it. Um, we've got a few super chats actually. Um, Gary Debola says, "Steve, it's time get a ghillie suit, a fan boat, and go to Florida." 
and just re resurrect Operation Glazer, Glazer chat. <laughs> We're just going to have a chat. We're just having a chat. Just going to talk. Yeah, nothing gonna, more than that. Just, I'm just, I am loading my weapon, but I'm just... I'm it not, is to all chat. Is talk. It's so an open I'm carry state. I am just getting into my primary fire position. I drove past their house in April. Did you? How do you know where they live? <coughs> it's on, it's on Google. 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 Is it? <laughs> well, the, yes. one of, the ponytail baldy face is outside his house on he's Google not, Earth. Oh yeah, he is on that one. On <laughs> Google Earth? Yeah. On Google Earth, if you type in his thing, he's there. Wow. You can't get anywhere. There, there was one of our lovely it's, fans it's, who lives in Flowrider like, was like, uh, if you go to this address on Google Maps, that's where he lives, and actually, there he is. And you're like, oh my God. It's, it's not like you can get anywhere near him though. So is, is there it's multiple not, gates before you get to that door? Yeah, I reckon it's a fully gated And community. also, you've got yeah, that course. island there where they are is one of the wealthiest places in the world. Mm. And the police there are looking out for people in ghillie suits all the time. That's kind of what they're doing. And Two I'm words, Joe. That. Maritime. Yeah, that's what we do. We well, need it's one of those things. It's not going to work either. Yeah, <laughs> somehow we have a little thing where, do you know, you just see a shot in a film where everyone's just walking on the bottom of the sea. <laughs> sort of like walk, whatever they're living, whatever little inlet they're on. With the big brass we've got a big helmet brass with, with bubbles coming off. out of it. Yeah, I mean. And we're just at the, at the, under, at the depths like that, walking Steve's towards them. Steve's doing some them. Navy SEAL training. Why? Yeah. Don't worry. Unbelievable, that's what we need. We'll have some new owners soon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be called Darcy. Oh, by the way, Joe saw Darcy. Yeah, I saw Darcy Glazer. Yeah, because ah. you, know, like, you don't see... Uh, you, we, you know Ponytail Baldyface. Now, he yeah. walked past us, but we didn't see him until he was level with us. Yeah. So by the time we... Went, I, I was oh, having oh, a shit. poo at this moment. I didn't see him at all, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I think it was me and Ethan. Yeah. By the time he was level with us, he was frog marching. He was gone, right? He, yeah. he was right past I'm us. I'm so shocked. And there was security through. front and back. Yeah. And I did think, what if I chase him? If I chase him, I'm just going to be ignored because we we know what he's like, right? Well, well, ignored this, or tackled? This is in in the underbelly of the Met Life. Yeah, <clears> they <throat> could shoot you there as well. That sort of thing. Because America, that hurt. Yeah. yeah. So, I, we I we I'm then regaling Joe with our wonderful story of how we missed this opportunity. If yeah. I think Laurie spotted him coming. Laurie was mm. about ten foot ahead of us. I think he spotted him coming and he filmed him on his phone. I think. Yeah, I saw that one. Um, but I didn't spot him until he was like past us. Uh, and bad, and like I said, there was security front and back. But Darcy comes walking. She just looks like a wealthy, you know, woman in her forties, fifties, doesn't she? Mm. Like, yeah. and you kind of there's a, do I know her vibe about her, yeah. or should I know her? She looks like yeah. it could be like a, a, a commonly seen athlete's wife, or yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you know no. what I mean? Like, you, like if you yeah. if you'd have said to me that's Tom Brady's missus or something yeah. like that, I'd have gone, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, you can tell that there's some money there. Yeah, yeah, arm on it. And you, you could have, yeah. you could have tell that, and that's about all you, you kind of get. But it was kind of like Joe goes, I mean that's Darcy Glazer. But by the time you've whipped your phone out to, to do Google, Google Darcy yeah, Glazer, she's round the corner. She's already gone, and she didn't have security with her. No, would you recognise her? <clears throat> no. By the way, no yeah, chance. go go Google her and, and tell me that you'd have been like. 100 meters down the road. That's Darcy Glazer. Well, she's one of the <laughs> ones did. that wants it gone. I don't really know how I knew that. Yeah, I think she's, she's like, actually on our side. She yeah. just went, what's the point? So I don't think she's ever been Joe was a gentleman, yeah. cared. Joe will have put on his little bib, like he's going eating lobster, no. and took her out for lunch. Right, okay. Have you ever had lobster? Yep. Have you ever boiled your own lobsters? No. Nope. I have. You? Yeah. Well, yeah. Drop of course the, you have. So you get one of those bad boys from Chinatown, blew us out, Claws cl clamped together, cruel as you like. You have to get a big fucking pot. You I thought it was Joe getting us cancelled today. You stick its head in. <laughs> That's how you cook a lobster. I'm not cancelling anyone. That's how you cook lobster. You cook them uh, live. Someone will see their ass back. Well, no, you stab. You no, know, actually, what you do is just before you put it in the pot, you stab just a bit at the top of its neck there, put it out, twist of once, drop you've it. Done in. This. You'd like it, Steve, because it's food and death. They're literally <laughs> your two favourite things. <laughs> Killing food. <laughs> Honestly, that's unreal for you. Yeah. I'm sorry, right. it's a little bit wet. Yeah. Shouldn't be. It's tricky. It's a, it's a bastard to get into, isn't it? It's effort, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's it really is effort. It's effort, even when you're like trying to eat the fucking thing yeah. out of the tail. And it's like, oh, there's some really lovely meat. Where is it? Under that car park. And you have to just fucking get <laughs> under it. <laughs> I yeah. never had Joe down as fucking killing his own lobster. I did. Definitely did. Yeah. Who was you trying to impress? Yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was. I can't like a it. fucking open book, Joseph. Yeah, it was very, very clear. Um, did you know as well that lobsters don't die of old age? Did you know that lobsters are sort of rel relatively immortal? What? 
Yeah, they're like 200 years old. No, what do you mean? What do you mean? So they, they, they die of all the things related to of uh, their side, like their old age. So like their old version of cancer or something. No, not even that. Really? So they keep getting bigger and bigger, but they're... Show the, the biggest one in the world. Well, that's the problem. They, they eventually they get too big and there's a, a limit to how big a, a sort of invertebrate can get. And they kind of get a bit bulky and they'll die because they can't get food or whatever. But they don't die of like their organs aging or their brain aging. They don't really have that. So they can theoretically so how live old forever. Do, do, does an old lobster get? Uh, what Google ever, phrase, by the way? How, how old does, does an old, old lobster, lobster get? Lobster. <laughs> well, there's some that are 150 years old. How do you know? That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you're just looking at its diary or whatever. Yeah, because like, I, I believe there is, Google this, oldest shark in the world. I'm sure it's like yeah. 400. And you're like, you fucking know? is it? The thingy sharks, aren't they? What they're called? Um, yeah. Old. Old shark, Greenland sharks, that's it. Have you seen them? They look like they're made out of stone. Yeah, one of yeah, them, yeah. it's like, this is older than America. And that is, like, what the fuck? How yeah, they, li know? they may live over 500 years. No. 400 years old is, is one that is their average lifespan in the wild. Mate, how bored have you got? I know. Look, at you get so bored that you literally turn into a pebble. Look at that. <laughs> that's not even a life. That's just, that's just, a, just gravel in it. That's not an actual object. 400 years old. It's too old, that. Is that the oldest look, looking oh, thing? I've seen this picture before, right? Isn't this just the saddest thing ever? Like, look at the... Oh, I can't scroll down, but you can see anyway. So that's its head. And then on its eye Content. there, it's got, like, a twig growing out of its actual fucking eyeball because it's that old. You don't you just care. Think, what a shit time he's having. I've got a twig. I've got plant. He's so old, he's got trees growing out of his eyes. How <laughs> mad do you have... How old do you have to be Is that to the oldest that? living thing? Uh, what Outside animal? Tree, yeah. I think uh, Galapagos turtles and that. But maybe I think it is that. How do you know though? Why don't you know? Why don't you know that sharks got to, uh, get to four hundred year old? How do you figure that out? Ocean. You've got to trust someone told you about that. That's what you've got to do. You've got to trust <laughs> someone else. Sorry, I've just read the most mental sentence. Go on. Ocean quay hogs, which are a, a type of clam, can live over four hundred years old. At 507 years of age, Ming the Clam broke the Guinness World Record as the oldest animal in the world. Like it's happy birthday, like on his actual birthday. How the fuck do you know it's 507 How do you know it's fucking birthday? That's what I'm saying, right. Who looked at that and went, this was born in 15 or blah blah Yeah. 17th of February. Fucking shut up. Yeah. No, that, you don't. How, yeah. It's broken the record as the oldest animal in the world, but it's, it's a clam. 500 years Show old. Me that, must be, that must be the size of this table. Ming. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not, what are we doing? Ming the clam. Look at it. Here he is, Ming. How big? Or, I don't know if they even have genders, do they? Probably Ming not. The clam. Hi, how are you doing? There's Ming the clam. Left. Right. That's the left That's valve of shell. Ming's shell there. It's not what just the a shell. I want to see how big Ming the clam is. Where does it live, by the way? And how's uh, no one robbed it yet? It was uh, off the coast of the Crown of Dependency of Iceland. So it's living basically in a freezer. That's why it's not died. You could put a fish finger in a freezer for 500 years and it'd still be edible. It's not alive. It's yeah. just fucking deep fingered. It's absolutely Walt so, Disney. So Greenland and Iceland. <laughs> it's Walt. They've, They've got a shark. Walt Disney did. They've got a shark. Oh, you're joking. And a He's clam. dead. Oh, oh no. R.I.P. Fucking hell. Ming the clam. Guess how it died as well. Bear in oh, mind, wait, it's wait. lived in Iceland for 500 years. Someone dropped it. Freezing. <laughs> it's frozen <laughs> today. But I thought global warming, Joe. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? How can it have lived for 500 years next to ice and then, and then froze to death? To death? Imagine that, like it, like, it takes you 500 years to say the sentence, it's fucking freezing this, and then gone. That's how slow the metabolism is. How big was it? I need to know meters. Uh, it was... 87 by 73 millimetres, so it's 8 by 7 centimetres. It's a clam this big. No, no, no. Who's no, even no, looking no, at them no, for no. age? Who, who was like, that's been here 375 years, that? Yeah. I'm going to tell my great grandkids to come back and see if this particular, less than the size of my fucking fist, no. If it was like a two metre bad boy, and yeah. every generation had swam yeah. past yeah, yeah. it, then yeah, yes. And, and an ancient Egyptian had carved something into it. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. you know. Yeah, these like I mean? Viking runes. Yeah, Ramesses was here, carved into but his back. No, a fist sized clam. I'm no, guessing no, it. no, no. I'm guessing it. Something like archaeologists have figured out how old the, the oh. shell is. That's know. it. That's, I'm guessing. Do you know what it is? It. That's the archaeological gone. version of Linky at United. We need a story. <laughs> Alex, was, Alex was correct. You can determine the age of a clam by counting the lines on its shell. See? So it's like the rings in a tree. 
Yeah. <clears throat> but it's even easier because it's on the outside. Yeah. Not on one that big, Joe. You're not counting 500. That's true. What what fucking font size do those rings have to be in to fit 500 in? That, because I know clams get massive. And if it was a massive clam, I'm buying it. I'm not buying I'm a fish buy size clam. You'd love to own the world's oldest animal. I know you would. Keep it in a little tank at home. How much would you pay for Ming? I may have inquired about adopting a Lowry this week. Sorry, what? It's a football related one. Not the football related one. It's <clears> a <throat> football related one. You're going to buy a Lowry painting? Adopt, you can't buy it. What the fuck are you even saying? Me this is something it. I would do. <laughs> what do you mean you're adopting a painting? Joe, we are preserving our cultural <clears throat> heritage. Possibly. Where, where are you if keeping they that? get back to me. Uh, it, stays, it stays at the gallery. What? What's the point in that? So what, how, how are you in any way related to this painting? Give me a name next to it. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and, and how the and fuck much was that? It's a drawing. Uh, we're not disclosing that. And right. how, no, you are disclosing it. No, how much not do you, in public, we're not. How much Can do you pay go? for the pleasure of having your name next to a drawing in a cupboard in an art gallery? It can be as cheap as, like... <laughs> Uh, a couple of hundred quid. Oh, right. fucking hell. <laughs> and yours is clearly more than that. <laughs> what, yours. what do you get out of this? His name on the wall. That's what he gets. Get a Lowry. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. Kind of. That's, oh. that's, this is mad. It's not mad. What, you, but, 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 you typically will have a kind of a, an angle on something like this. <laughs> what do you get out of this? Is it genuinely just Stephen Housen next to a Lowry? Uh, I think it says adopted by him. That's sensational. I didn't even know that was a thing. This, have you seen in America they do adopt a highway? Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. like and it's Everywhere. like, you know, under 16's gymnast own this stretch of highway between two of the ugliest responsible parts of for, Texas. Uh, responsible for its upkeep. Yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> so basically, <laughs> instead of taxes, you're just making people Privatized. offer That's to great. tax. Yeah, privatizing road. Land works. Of the free, mate. Yeah, yeah. That's Land insane, free, isn't it? Home of the don't get an ambulance. Yeah. That's absolutely Definitely mental. Um we've or got heart surgery. We've got a, another super chat. Grand, is it? Have you seen one of the ones where it's like, Have oh. you seen how much it is to give birth in America? Is that, it's like 20 grand, isn't it? <laughs> it's maybe like a day. It cost me like 700 quid to have a cold over there at one point, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, when, it's, it's like 90 grand. It is mental. But then it can't be, can That's it? if everything went perfectly. But, Let's but have it, a look at that. No, it is though. That's what it is. How much to give birth in America? My mate got... Average. My mate got sent is, 20 grand. Um, 20? Not that that isn't... Although some people are saying 32. So let's say 30. <laughs> My mate got sent his thing. He got his ACL, he did ACL over there. Yeah, went for the operation. And they sent him the bill instead of sending it to the insurers first. <laughs> he, <laughs> he had a bit of a heart attack. And also... $32,000. And he went, I, don't, I can't afford that. Because he spent two days in hospital. Uh, look how much heart surgery is. Yeah, it's not good. That's like hundreds of thousands. But the thing I don't understand is... So the insurance companies... What are they banking on the fact that most people never get heart surgery? Because it's like, it what, are you paying for, what are you paying for insurance? A hundred dollars a month? Uh, maybe what? seventeen of those. Is it? Is it really dead it's, expensive? It's probably over a grand. Mm, it can't be over a depends grand. Depends on what you get. No one would live there. It's it, surely it's not for basic health health care. What's can basic be, though? Because then it's like you're not covered for that. You're not covered for that. Don't no, you just, get an just third party fire cold. and theft. Classic. <laughs> I think. I think Does the human have the war have a warranty? I think it's about two and a half grand a year, something like that. A year, okay, something that's more like, like that. a couple hundred quid dollars a month. I think it's something like that, but still, it's a lot of money if you. I'm sure I've seen. It depends. Quid. I'm sure you it's, can pay. It's why employees quid. pay for it all as well? Uh, the most common it. types of heart surgery. The range. average annual oh, cost of health insurance in the USA is seven thousand seven hundred thirty-nine for an individual and twenty-two thousand for a family. Rancid. So I was I wasn't far off with seventeen hundred. No. Um, the, the most common types of open heart surgery can range from 30,000 to over 200,000. Wow. That's just genuinely like, like cancer's uh, like half a mil. I know. Yeah, it's fine. And the thing as well is it's not even oh, honest, By the way, you, like, you've done really well surviving this horrendous disease, which yeah. has absolutely ravaged your body. Best of luck paying that. And then just sliding the bill over. And have you seen as well where... It's like 13 quid for the aspirin we I was going to say, but people... Yeah, that's the thing. People <laughs> ask for them to be itemised. And it's literally stuff like the the little, do you know that round little sick bucket that's just made out of egg boxes? $58. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? It's because the hospital set the piss out of the insurance company. Yeah. So the insurance companies then have to take the piss out of the premium. And it's bananas. Yeah. It's bananas. It is no bananas. first world country should be charging its citizens for healthcare. That should be part of the deal of paying taxes. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Mark Gilroy or Guillory says about the same as taxes in the UK. But. 
It's not the same, is it? It's not even close. No. And Joe, you know the mad thing is as well, um, Americans actually pay more in taxes towards their own healthcare and then have to get private healthcare on top. It's decent. It's a very decent system that they've worked out there. Um, well, the stadiums but by are the way, great. The stadiums are fantastic. By the way, um, Britain was number one in... Because the, 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 the NHS had a bad rap for yeah. a long time. Um, and I don't know why. And, and I suspect a lot of it is um, paid for media giving it shit to sort of ease in and grease the wheels for privatisation in the UK mm. because then people can make money on it. The NHS, up until the Tories took over, was number one in like seven of the ten things that you can be number one for in the world. And now we're in like, we're in yeah. double figures now. It's a, it's a classic method, isn't it? Make yeah. something look worthless so you have to replace it. Like, the, the NHS isn't working. We've got to fix it by Me making millions. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we've got a couple more super chats. my friends. CTC says, if Maguire, Costa, Zamabrat and Pavard do we boo, I'm not going to boo a United player for any on-the-pitch reasons, personally. And I don't think I ever will. No. And um, the Harry Maguire stuff was weird. I think the US was... Um, I very odd. much wish he would leave, though. Yeah. yeah, same. I do. I think that it's a weird scenario as well, though. I think if at the same time, it kind of... it's. It's more the people that gave him the ridiculous contracts as well for as much as he wants to do it. He can just sit there. We've had multiple players that are doing that now. There's not just him. Yeah, one of them's on the Otley Run now. Yeah, <laughs> one of them's on the Otley Run. It's not just Wait him. for me. And, but yeah, I'd like him to go. But it's it's a weird scenario. The US was an odd place, again, because the amount of people booing, jeering. You could tell there it's just not an environment. And even every time it's come out of Old Trafford, the amount of... Is it in San Diego? Uh, yeah. Was, was you at the game in San Diego? The Wrexham game where mm. he didn't play. Yeah. Was you at the? Uh, would you? Was you aware of the the booing of both goalkeepers? Yeah, the one the American <laughs> fans f- didn't realise that Nathan Bishop had been subbed off and booed the other goalkeeper. That was good. No, no. no the the half time the when they changed, they, they didn't, didn't realise they switched ends. Yeah. It's good that. Yeah, it was good. That yeah. was one of my favourite bits of the trip. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> we were, like, were we were we together for that bit, or would you? We were press, weren't we? Yeah. And I was like, are they just booing the keeper in that net, regardless that was the, that of was who the he game is? With the biggest flag I've ever fucking seen. That was incredible. That video, I've got a video on my phone of that, and I genuinely, even Adam McCola, who spent half of the trip going, fucking, like just <laughs> hating everything like he does, <laughs> was like. I got so fucking pumped up by that national anthem. You know they like brought all the flag across the entire pitch. It was the then, size of the fucking yeah. pitch. And then it was like the flag still waving or whatever. And then they all started waving the flag and then the whole crowd was going, ah! and then everyone in the press box was stood up and everyone was just like, fucking And then a plane on! flew past. You know, the, yeah, the plane flew over you know, as well, the plane, get in! You know, the plane that flew over? Yeah. The pilots sat in front of me for the second half. Yes, man! <laughs> That's it! In. What is the in, American in, military like, budget for fly pass the because it's at every fucking game, game mate. Infinite, Steve. It's, it's trillions. It's it doesn't it matter. Must bring in and twenty fair, grand a game. For the that, timing. Do you know what I mean? How do you get that timing? You Ryan Air precision. couldn't fucking manage that. Could they be like <laughs> there in twenty minutes? Yeah. That's halfway through the first half, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Um, Peter Kelly says, come on, Evans is clearly going to be the fifth choice behind Varane, Martinez, Lindelof and Shaw, but ahead of Maguire. Abhinav Verma um, says the depth of incompetence that oh, the Glazers keep reaching Sorry, on, you that. Uh, matches the height we reached with the treble. Ponytail, baldy face, can't decide anything. That's true. So some good news. All right. So you know the ULEZ zones? More than 300 cameras have been damaged or stolen in four months. What are the ULEZ zones? So that's where you... Um, you now get charged for driving around roads that you could have just drove down. Uh, nice that. Mm. They damage the cameras on them. Mm. Spray, spray paint and that. That's How what did, call, did you just get that as an alert? Yeah, that's what we call democracy. <laughs> uh, Raf says, what team would you support if not United? Let's say Man United doesn't no longer exist. It's not like a, you have to pick a different team. United folds. They don't exist. There is no Phoenix team, nothing. You still like football. Who you like? Who you, who's playing? There's a very obvious one here. Man City, because it's Manchester. Are we presuming the obvious isn't available? Trevor Paddock? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I think there'd be a fair few people here and in the comments that would be mm. like... But if you wanted a taste of elite football <laughs> still, you know what I mean? Oh, right, Trafford. Would it? Yeah, Trafford. it'd be one of the local teams. <laughs> yeah, Trafford, Drawsden. Or... Would you? Yeah. You'd just you'd turn the Premier League <clears throat> off? Yeah. Okay. FC's the obvious one, I think, as well. But even Salford, like that's starting to get yeah. there, you do that. But... You'd just be, a, if it was right now, you'd just be a fan. I, you know, there's enough people we know. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd bore, I'd bore people things. telling them how good United were. Yeah, that'd be it, really, <laughs> wouldn't it? See, uh, all this. No, I mean, this United was still about. 
Uh, Tina Tellison Totoka uh, said. Say that again. Tina Tellison Totoka. Oh, Romano latest into bid uh, twenty five million for Pavard. Are you worried that we're not going to get him? I think. Mm, I think he'll come after Amrabat. We need to start selling some people first. Are you that bothered about Pavard? Because he yeah, looks. Like as a centre half. I think he's going to play right back. I know as well, but as as a centre half, do you think he's any good? Because he just looked. Again, small sample size of the games I've watched of him and Bayern. He looks ropey defensively, and which is kind of what you want as a centre back to be able to defend. And he doesn't look That's great. Th- usually the one, yeah. Uh, no, I think, yeah, I think it'd be all right because I think he would be third, fourth choice. Mm. I think Lindelof, maybe even Shaw. I think he comes in as someone that helps us move the ball at the pitch and hold it. Well, that makes sense. And I like him. Should we wrap it up? But I think I'm about a bit more. Should we wrap it up with Esty? Don't know. Give me something weird to finish on. Hmm. Barnsley. That's why, why is their logo like a uh, fucking bulldog? Is it? Why wouldn't it be? That's the devil. Have you been to Barnsley? It's very good. I've not been back. Barnsley's the best Yorkshire accent, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's so Yorkshire, it yeah. folds in on itself. Yeah, it's, it's sort of a <laughs> black <laughs> hole of accent. Barnsley. Barnsley. <laughs> but it's not a pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it is great. I serve a lad called Rob Bruce from Barnsley, and I reckon in four or five years of serving together, mm. some really intimate chats, and I reckon in that five years, less than 11 words were said by him. <laughs> Obviously, I'm quite a wordy bellend. Mm. He's not so much. <laughs> <laughs> but when he does say it, he's the timing and the, and the word play is oh, there's brilliant. Oh, very, very dry. I mean, yeah. so fucking dry, it come with its own towel. Yeah. Like, it was so fucking deadpan. It yeah. not even, ex- yeah. Barnsley. Barnsley. It was a big Barnsley fan as well. Um, finally then, just to piss off the people moaning about a lack of football chat, according to Jordan Nolan, what's your favourite discontinued chocolate bar? Twill. They do twill still? Do they? No, Spira, Spira. What the fuck Spira. is a Spira? I can't think of what the Sounds like a nightclub in the 90s. Yeah, it definitely does, doesn't it? Spira, chocolate. I think it was Cadbury's. Bar. Might have been Nestle. Never seen such a thing. No, I've never Joe, seen it. Joe, it's been in the fridge. Oh, Oh, it is sort of like a twirl though isn't it yeah, yeah, yeah. so they kind of replaced it with the twirl um, there's like a, a milky way white don't really see a lot of flakes nowadays good. I don't remember what it was though Cadbury's like Dream two, no there was one that was like two wafers essentially in a pack I'm a fan of them which Can't fan of the bueno big fan big fan yeah, of bueno big fan yeah, of yeah they're bueno's. good yeah. talk to me about biscuits what about them what's, what's what your what's your standard biscuit shop I don't really get biscuits, but I am. Uh, you can, I know you're not gonna like this already. Give me a Gary it's Baldi. It's a Gary Baldi, of course <laughs> it is. Do you know why I like a Gary Baldi? It's got because, shit in it. No, because it's like. Do you know like a gym floor at school? It's got that little bounce to it. It's like two layers of plywood with a fucking raisin centre. I've center. not been in here. In like six months if you laid out, Gary Baldi if you laid out two hundred and fifty thousand Gary Baldis and glued them all together like tiles, it, that is a gym floor. The at track school. you like fucking flies to a fucking bit of paper. Unbelievable! Chocolate I love a Gary Baldi. Dark chocolate, chocolate hobnobs. Shut up, John. No. Uh, Stop being weird with Mental. it. Just be normal. Just sweet. stay in the in the lane with the public for one. Oh. Too sweet. Chocolate caramel digestives. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Fucking very. Alex is very, talking the language. Good. I'm mm. talking here. But do you know what? There's a dichotomy that happens here because I love a, to, to dip a biscuit in milk. Right, that is my jam. Right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but if you do real, like real, real preschool stuff, that is it. <laughs> I like it as well. It's great. Why are we just pretending that shit that's awesome is not awesome no, because no, you do right, it when right, you're right. four? Yeah. It can be good when you're four or forty, Joe. Don't discriminate. Yeah. The problem is the milk has got to be ice cold always when you're having biscuits with right, it, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Don't be warm milk yeah, or yeah, room yeah. temperature fucking milk, you weirdo, yeah. right? But when you dip one of those chocolate caramel digestives yep. into your milk, oh, it yeah. hardens the caramel yep. and it ruins mm-hmm. the texture because you've got to leave it in enough that your biscuit gets soaked, but it always See, that's cools why. the milk down too much. You dip it into much. tea because it melts the chocolate. No, 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 you don't want to melt the chocolate, you fucking it's savage. a little bit. It's all, no, 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 got no. to be quick. No, 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 no. no, no. You're even holding it in there. What, you don't like hour? dipping biscuits into tea? No, 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 keep my tea. Hold. That's weird. We do drink iced tea, no, no, Joe. Yeah, iced tea's fantastic. Ice so you got into great. iced tea on holiday. I mean, uh, uh, on work <laughs> on, trip. On work, work, work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the biscuit is your chocolate hobnobs. Yeah. I haven't done the chocolate caramel digestive. They don't sell them in my Tesco, so I'm missing yeah. out, I think. Yeah. Um, there are some little sort of like swirls, like a shortbread swirl with a bit of chocolate on them. Sensational. Mm. And then just a big fucking multi-pack of Maryland cookies. The, yeah, the cheap. The, the red the, ones or the purple ones? Yeah, the ones. red ones. Keep them in the mixer. You just always got something in the go there, but obviously your hobnobs are your top tiers. Mm. 
They had the Biscoff, like custard cream. You can fuck off with your Biscoff. Biscoff's great. No, it's not great. I think it's been overrated, but still very good. Biscoff's like... When they've made real biscuits... And everyone's trodden that and pubes and nonsense into no, the floor. They've scraped it, stamped wrong. it, and fucking sold it. Dickheads like you. No, Biscoff, fuck off. <laughs> right, that's going to be all from <laughs> us. Thank you very much for joining us. This has been The Brew. We'll be back tomorrow with the watch along. Jay Motty is back. We hope he's back. Literally, he's no back one or has heard in the from woods him for a week. Whistle. So hopefully, Jay Motty will be here for the watch along tomorrow. Manchester United versus Tottenham. Thank you, Alex, for coming on. Good no to problems. see you again. You too, mate. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs>